Okay, now that you've watched all of the individual types of reactions, now's when we're going to mix them all up and put them all together and how you will be able to be a fortune teller. And you'll be able to predict when things and how things can and if they do happen. All right, so a good way to do this is to think about what is happening in each of these types of words. To combine something means that you are putting together okay to decompose means to break apart to do a single replace means that you're going to swap one thing out for another a double replacement means that you are going to swap the spots of two things in a reaction and combustion means that things are going to get heated that things are going to burn and release energy so that's how we're going to kind of approach these. And one of the reasons why I use relationships is because you can think about them also the same way. A combination, putting things together, is a marriage. A decomposition is sadly when things are going to break apart. A divorce, a single replacement, is when something has an affair. And affairs don't always happen, okay, just because they're presented with something. It has to be better in some way in order, and filling some type of void in order for it to happen. And a double replacement is when you swap wives, okay? You swap who they are bonded to. Not that I condone any of that. Let me just put that out there. And then combustion reaction is going to be an argument, okay, when things are going to get heated, make a lot of CO2, and H2O, which is going to be your steam. Okay, so when we take a look at these, okay, a combination reaction is really going to be two elements coming together. A combustion reaction, the reactants are going to be a compound. In a single replacement reaction, it's going to be an element and a compound. In a double replacement reaction, it's going to be two compounds. And in a combustion reaction, it's going to be that CXHY plus O2, your hydrocarbon and oxygen. So this will be your A plus B. This will be your AB. This will be your A plus BC. And this will be your AB plus CD. So as you can see, they all start with something differently. And as long as you can identify these half reactions to go along with one of these types of reactions, you should be golden. To help you with that, I made a study guide for the types of reactions right here. Okay, so I linked it on my website as well, and it breaks everything up. Okay, so here are your combination reactions, and it shows you basically everything that was on all of the slides that we had before, your decomposition reactions, the general equation, and then the special decomposition reactions. Then you have your single replacement reactions. So this is when you have a metal replacing a metal and a non-metal replacing a non-metal. And activity series, checking all that. Um, double replacement reactions, whether or not they are um, going to form a precipitate H2S gas or H2O, and what you put for each one of those. And then you have your combustion reactions at the bottom, um, whether it is going to be a hydrocarbon or whether it's going to be a metal oxide. Hydrocarbons will make your CO2 and H2O. So little recap for you with those. All right. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to predict what each one of these is. Okay, so PBO2. PBO2, is that an element, a compound? What? That is one compound. And the compound means that it is going to be a divorce. Something is going to break up. So this is your decomposition reaction. And you should be able to identify that. Okay. All right, Ca plus S. This is an element. This is an element. Okay, so we have two elements. So what is that one? That's going to be a marriage. Two become one. That is going to be our, that's right, combination or synthesis. Okay, you have to write more than just COMB because COMB can also be combustion. Okay, C, um, C5H12 plus O2. 
this is C5, this is a compound, this is an element. Ooh, but wait, this is a hydrocarbon and oxygen. Ooh, hydrocarbon plus O2 means that this is going to be an argument, and this is going to be my combustion. So you have to identify that. And then we have our NaCl and K2SO4. These are two compounds. So that's going to be my wipe swap, which means my double replacement reactions. And then I have my element and I have my compound, Ca plus Fe2O3. So that's one element and one compound. That is going to be my affair, and that is my single replacement reaction. So you can see as we click through the notes, each one is something different. You can identify that with a relationship, and you can turn that relation relationship into the type of reaction to help you along. Okay, so now that we identified them, now let's predict what happens. Okay, so Pb plus O2, it's going to break apart. It's going to make its elements, Pb plus O. Is anybody diatomic? Yes, O is diatomic. And then lastly, we're going to balance it out. Is this balanced? Yes, it is. Okay, Ca plus S. This is my combination. Ca makes a 2 plus, S makes a 2 minus, so I get CAS, CAS. And is that balanced? CAS, CAS, yes, that is balanced. Good. Okay, C5H12 plus O2. What does a hydrocarbon burning in oxygen always make? It makes a lot of CO2, that's what propels things, and it makes a lot of steam, H2O. Okay, it will never ever be liquid water, it will always be gaseous. All right, and then we have to balance that one. All right, C5H12, that means I have five CO2s. I need six H2Os. Five times two gives me 10, plus another six. That gives me 18 oxygens on the right. So I need a nine oxygen on the left. And then we are all balanced, good. Okay, this is my double replacement reaction. Write your ions. Na plus, Cl minus, K plus, SO4 two minus. The outside and the inside come together. So I make Na2SO4 and I make KCl. So ask yourself the three questions. Did I make H2O? Did I make H2S? Did I make a precipitate? Okay, you need to ask yourself those three questions for double replacement reactions. So, did I make H2O? No. Did I make H2S? No. Did I make a precipitate? Let's say all sodiums are soluble, so that's an AQ. All ooh, potassiums are soluble, that's an AQ. So, no reaction made. Mm. All right, and then lastly, we have Ca plus Fe2O3. This is my single replacement. Write out your ions. Ca2 plus Fe here when I uncrisscross is a 3 plus, O is a 2 minus. Who's going to try to replace who? Hmm, or whom? Metal. Cation replaces cation. Is calcium higher on the activity series? You have to look at that. The answer is yes. So if that is the case, kick out iron. Iron is now sad and alone. And Ca2 plus and O2 minus get together. So you get CaO. Is that balanced? No. So I'm going to need a 3 here, a 3 here and a two there to be balanced. Okay, so for single replacement reactions, you have to check the activity series. For double replacement reactions, you have to ask yourself the three questions. All right, and here is the answer all done out for you in case you need 
to see something other than my chicken scratch. Um, but yeah, you can definitely predict the future. You can definitely see what kinds of things are made, what's successful, what's not, um, and balance everything out. So again, we have our okay, PB and O2 breaking up. This is going to be our decomposition reaction. Ca plus S is our synthesis reaction or combination. I don't care which one you use. Um, C5H12 plus O2 is going to be our combustion reaction. Um, NaCl and K2SO4 doesn't work, but it's still a double replacement reaction. So even if you write no reaction, you should still identify what type it is. And calcium kicking out iron and then calcium taking its spot with oxygen is our single replacement reaction. So that, my class, is our types of reaction prediction. Congratulations, you are now all fortune tellers, and you can predict the future. So go ahead, Nostradamus, do your thing.